because they, this is something in the news. I, I don't have this in my word guide or nowhere in my book. That's something that a football player, I understand, did, and people have called in on this program and talked about. So codification is about talking about anything that people want to talk about that has to do with making the world the type of place it should be. So I understand that somebody took a knee at a football game. And so I'm saying pay attention to words. Now, a person was accused of taking a knee, okay? Well, first of all, you look at the words, take a knee. What do you mean, take a knee? All right? They say, well, the person who was on that football field, he went down on one knee so that one knee was on the ground and the other knee wasn't. So the logical question is, so why did the person do that? Now, from what I understand, the person explained, I took a knee because it had something to do, to the best of my knowledge, and somebody else can talk about this, because I'm not, I'm not familiar with, ex with exactly the reason for the taking the knee was. It said, in the response to racism and, so, and, and police brutality, now, so whomever has taken the knee can explain why he or she took the knee. And if that's the answer, that is the answer. You always accept the person's answer or explanation for what they do, okay. what the person does. So that's the only thing I have to say about taking the knee. But I have a list of words here that I might in the second hour can talk about that I made up myself that I heard from what I heard on television okay. in connection with this taking a knee. In other words, if I understand you correctly, the first act was someone sat on a bench. Now, the second act was taking a uh, uh, expression called taking a knee. So, this is these are two acts that were committed. Yes. The first act, take a uh, sitting on a bench. Yes. All right. That's sitting. And the other one was a something called taking a knee. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I guess it was his knee. He didn't take anybody else's knee. Yes, sir. I mean, to run off the field with it. I mean, that would be be assault or something, or theft or something. And uh, so he put one knee on the ground. Now, I guess that's what you mean by taking a knee. Yes, sir. And he didn't put the other knee on the ground. All right. Maybe both knees should have been on the ground. I don't know. It depends on what did he mean by what he did. Sitting on the bench was one thing, and going down on one knee so that one knee touched the ground was the second thing. Now, these are two acts. See, codification is about looking at what a person actually does or says. Because everything is about saying and doing. Saying and doing. So you, if a person is saying something, you listen to every word that the person says. Because every word has value. Anybody who's ever been to court knows this. Every word counts. Be careful with your words. Now, deeds, like so-called taking a knee or sitting on a bench, these are actions. So if a person does something like sit on a bench or put one knee on a ground, and you ask the person, why are you doing this? Whatever that person gives as the answer for doing it, since the person is doing it, you're not doing it, should be a valid answer. Because people have an explanation, I guess, or should have, for what they do. All people, regardless of what it is. So, if he says, I'm taking a knee, or I'm sitting on a bench, in opposition to brutality by law enforcement officials. I don't use the word police brutality. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. But that's just my choice. There's no such thing as police brutality. In your opinion, yes, In sir. my opinion. Okay. But if he used that term, he can explain the term that he used, and that's that. Now, that raises a question. Is that a crime? You know? since he explained why he did what he did. Is that a crime? Is that a correct thing to do or an incorrect thing to do? 
And if so, why? Okay. Because he gave his reason. Yes. And whomever, whomever says that that's something he shouldn't have done should give the reason. Including the president? I've heard, I've heard some reasons that it has something to do with anthems. Yes, sir. Now, as far as I know, the person didn't say anything about an anthem when he gave his reason for doing what he did. I don't think he mentioned an anthem. Did he mention an anthem? See, let's take everything one at a time, just like you do in court. I always say that everybody on the planet is in court, and everybody is on trial. Based on what? Whether you're trying to produce justice or you're trying to do something that's not producing justice. That's the way it works. I mean, everybody on the planet is supposed to be in that mode. Now, because justice has never been produced by anybody. It doesn't exist. That's an idea that should be produced. That should be the goal of everybody on the planet. So now, this person said, I sat on a bench, I took a knee, which means, okay, why did you sit on the bench? Because all problems are solved through the process of what? Questions and answers. Why, sir, did you sit on the bench? Why, sir? Did you go on one knee so that one knee touched the ground and the other one didn't? I mean, but that's your business. I mean, how many knees touched the ground under what circumstances? But why did you do that? And he gave the reason, I'm making a protest against brutality by law enforcement officials and assuming that that shouldn't be done. Okay? That's the reason. So... You raise the question now, according to the compensatory code, how did anybody start associating that with a flag, an anthem, money, veterans, disrespect? See, I've written down a bunch of things that I've heard. Yes, sir. That's, that's come out of two things. Taking a, well, uh, until this morning, I only heard about the taking a knee. I didn't know about sitting on the bench but everything seems to be flowing from two acts not from anything that was said but two acts so called taking a knee and sitting on a bench now since then I have heard something about an anthem I've heard the word America and American used I've heard the word country used I've heard the word flag money Veteran, disrespect, politics, football, and last but not least, sons of bitches. Now, I'm trying to make a connection between all these other words and a person sitting on a bench. Or a person touching one knee to the ground. Now, how, how did all these other words become involved? That's my question. So I would have to ask that of the people who got these other words involved. Yes. All right. Flags. Anthems. What is an anthem? What is an anthem for? What is it supposed to produce? See, everything that people do is supposed to produce something. Uh -huh. And that's something that's either supposed to be, is supposed to be constructive. Okay. All right. And something that is opposed to anything that's non-constructive. Yes, sir. So, if a person is saying that they are doing something in order to do damage to something that should be done damage to, and that is brutality, people who are committing brutality should be stopped regardless of what people they are, then, what does that have to do with an anthem? What does that have to do with a flag? What does that have to do with veterans? What does that have to do with disrespect? What does that have to do with politics? Because that word was mentioned, politics. You shouldn't mix up politics, you know, with that type of thing. What is politics? And last but not least, how does somebody get called a son of a bitch because they sat on a bitch 
on a bench. Mm -hmm. And they gave the reason is because I'm speaking out against brutality. That's why I sat on the bench or took a knee. Yes, sir. Now, whom do you ask these questions? Whomever's using these other words, that's who you ask. All right. The person that says something about an anthem, you say, wait a minute. <laughs> Did I say anything about an anthem? See, that's what I mean by watching every word. Every word. Don't skip over anything. Got it. See, that's codified science. That's yeah. counter racist science. Okay. All right. We have to learn to do that. That's why I keep hopping on this. I see. We have to get in the habit. But the minute a person uses a word that you didn't use, you say, wait a minute, hold it right there. Let's talk about that one word that you just used. You say an anthem. First of all, what's an anthem? Second of all, what does that anthem that you are talking about have to do with what I did? All right? Because I didn't mention anthem. You did. So how did that get in it? How did that get into what I did? Make the connection, because I didn't make that connection. I made the connection with brutality. So what are you talking about, sir, ma'am, and always be polite. The code calls for you to be that. The code calls. You don't have to be saying it in a gruff manner like I'm saying it. Okay. But I'm saying you're in a court of law, so you want to do everything according to the correct procedures in order to produce what? The correct results. All righty. So pay attention, folks, everywhere that you're listening to this right now. With all of this talk on television about the NFL and all this and contracts and people even mentioning those people are making a whole lot of money. How did money get in it? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, raise these questions. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. I mean, you know, did I say anything or do anything that has anything to do with money? Okay. I'm talking about brutality. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about money. How did money get into discussion? All righty. Period. Uh -huh. See, pay attention to every word that somebody else is using when you didn't use the word. Yes, sir. Always keep this in mind. Yes, sir. And that's not, a, not only in uh, relationship to what we're talking about now, that's in anything. If you didn't use the word, you immediately, when somebody uses a word that you didn't use, you say, wait a minute, sir, ma'am, if you please. All righty. Explain in detail, even if it takes you six months to explain in detail exactly what you mean so that we don't have what? Confusion. Uh, See, because we got a whole bunch of words that keep coming up now. Disrespect. Wait a minute, how did that get in it? What, what do you mean by that? Sir, ma'am, I disrespected what? Uh, am I supposed to respect brutality? And how do I go about respecting brutality since you use the term? Because that's what I said this was about. It was about brutality. That's the key word. No one is supposed to be brutal according to what? Logic. Constructive logic. Last time I heard unless you have an argument in favor of being brutal, all right? So then you can explain your argument, but mm. that's not mine, okay. all right? So, sir, well, you know, how did respect get involved in this? Respect for what? Or disrespect for what? We need and to... The, and do not help the person with the answer. All righty. Once you ask a question, just like in court, don't help the person with the answer. Sit back and wait for that person to explain their position, because you already know your position. 